Skin cancer is the most prominent type of cancer in Canada, accounting for about one third of all new cases. Today, we'll be looking at how skin cancer is made through a number of molecular mechanisms. To begin, let's look at the two categories of skin cancers, melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancers. Melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer because of its ability to spread to other organs, whereas non-melanoma skin cancers tend to not spread to other parts of your body. These include basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Skin cancers form through a process called photocarcinogenesis, which is the sum of complex biochemical events that lead to the occurrence of the cancer. This occurs mainly due to the repeated exposure to ultraviolet radiation, also known as UVR. Some other risk factors contributing to skin cancer include chronic arsenic exposure, radiation drugs, and certain genetic disorders or immunosuppression. Now, let's get into how UVR can cause skin cancer. UVR has three subtypes, UVA, UVB, and UVC, categorized by their varying wavelengths. UVB is significantly more dangerous than the other two, and is strongly absorbed within the stratum corneum and epidermis of the skin cells. Tans are formed due to melanin, located in the basal layer of the epidermis. Melanin acts to absorb UVR and undergoes melanogenesis, causing an increase in pigmentation. This is a protective molecular mechanism for the body, as it prevents radiation damage from occurring in the skin cells. This video on the Demystifying YouTube channel dives into the risk reduction and preventative measures against skin cancer. Check it out in the description below. Subsequently, UVB is absorbed by DNA molecules in the body and transforms into chemical energy. This initiates photocarcinogenesis. This process induces two major DNA lesions, cyclobutane pyrimidine dimers or CPDs and pyrimidine 6,4-pyrimidone photoproducts or 6,4-PPs. These lesions are caused by the misbonding of two pyrimidines, either thymine or cytosine, within the same DNA strand. Both of these lesions can lead to genetic mutations, including a C to T and CC to TT transitions. However, CPDs are considered to be more carcinogenic as they are much more prevalent and less efficiently repaired in comparison to 6,4-PPs. Overall, if left unpaired, these dimers become mutagenic. This highlights the important role of the DNA repair system in skin carcinogenesis. There are multiple pathways that have been identified in the development of skin cancer. In this video, we will only cover two of these pathways, genetic mutations and epigenetic alterations. For the genetic mutations pathways, let's revisit the C to T and CC to TT substitutions. These are referred to as UV signatures. These UV signatures are induced by UVR, giving it its name. The most important regulatory protein in this pathway is protein 53, also known as p53. It is a transcription factor that is responsible for controlling genes involved in cell cycle regulation, triggering apoptosis and DNA repair. In skin cancer, many mutations in p53 are characterized by the UV mutational signature. Mutations in p53 are often found in many malignancies, which suggests its involvement in aberrant signaling pathways and subsequent DNA damage. However, in skin cancer, each p53 allele often carries different mutations at different locations along the gene. This is opposed to other cancers in which the p53 mutations usually occur within conserved regions. Although p53 mutations in skin cancer do not consistently occur at the same locus, Mutations do not occur randomly. Rather, these UV signature mutations accumulate in specific hotspots, which are different from regions of p53 that are mutated in internal malignancies. The second pathway we will look at is epigenetic modifications. Epigenetics refers to heritable changes in gene expression that are not due to alterations within the DNA sequence itself. This includes changes in DNA methylation, histone modification, and microRNAs, also known as miRNAs. The human genome encodes a subset of genes that function in epigenetic modifications of the genome, and thus regulate the activities of other genes. While the development of skin cancer is multifactorial, epigenetic alterations are believed to be among the earliest detectable changes in UVR-exposed skin. Overexposure of the skin to UVR leads to oxidative stress, inflammation, and DNA damage, factors that are known to significantly alter epigenetic pathways. In particular, chronic inflammation has been shown to accelerate the formation of DNA methylation, leading to skin cancer. 
We covered a lot of information in today's video, so let's quickly summarize the main points that we learned. First, we discussed three different types of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma skin cancer. Next, we described the process of photocarcinogenesis, which leads to the occurrence of skin cancer. Finally, we outlined the two pathways that can lead to the development of skin cancer, including genetic mutations and epigenetic alterations.